Hi, Jason Frosto for TennisUnleashed.net, and today we're going to cover the topic of twisters versus sliders. And in the first side-by-side -side comparison with Andy Murray and Tomas Burdich, you get an example here of two twisters. Um, and what's a twister, I guess? I guess I can call a twister someone that's in the ready position with both hands on the racket, and usually their forehand grip on their bottom hand and their backhand grip on their top hand. This is a style you often see more times with the ladies on the WTA Tour, but there are men who start in this position, such as Andy Murray and Tomas Burdich, when they're at the baseline uh, rallying back and forth. And there are other players as well that use this style, such as Joe Wilfred Sanga and Kevin Anderson, who's another top 20 player. So we're just going to briefly discuss this and look at the video and show you the difference between being a twister and a slider. And there's also one style that kind of is in between as well. So we're really going to isolate Andy Murray here in this first example because he tends to hold more of a forehand grip with his bottom hand and then his backhand grip is in the top hand there. But look at that red arrow position and look at the knuckles on that right hand and we're zoomed in quite a bit. And watch how as he goes to turn here, he completely shifts that grip as he's on his way to the ball. So you can see that uh, bottom hand knuckles are in a completely different position. So he's what I would call a twister. And we switch from Andy Murray to Tomas Burdich to show another example of a twister here. So again, both hands on the handle of the racket while waiting the ready position. And then watch his racket head as it twists and his hand twists right there. He made that move. It happens extremely fast, even in slow motion. I'm going to go back a little bit. And again, watch his racket head twist and his bottom hand will twist over to more of a continental grip on his backhand right there. You can see him shift that over. And then as he turns his body, you can see that his bottom hand grip is indeed in that continental grip position instead of a forehand grip. And then we have a second group of people I like to call sliders. And these guys actually slide their hand down and also twist their grip most of the time. So if you look at Djokovic on the right and Nadal on the left, they tend to hold a forehand grip with their bottom hand or close to a forehand grip. And the top hand will be somewhere up on the throat of the racket. This is the style you see predominantly on the ATP Tour uh, there are a handful of women that start like this on the WTA Tour. Most of them start uh, as twisters with both hands on the handle of the racket. So we've switched to Djokovic one-on-one -on -one here, and what we see are a couple different things. You can see his left hand is on the throat of the racket here, and his right hand is in more of a forehand grip position on the bottom hand. And what we're going to see as he goes forward here is he's going to get a backhand, and you're going to see him make what I call the twist and the slide here. So he's going to slide that left hand down, and he's going to twist his bottom hand into more of a continental grip. So you can see the bottom hand is already shifted down, and his knuckles are in more of a continental grip. And now you can see his left hand is also sliding down the handle. And at this point, he's already got both hands shifted over. If we go back a little bit, we'll look at the move again. You're going to see Novak there with the uh, bottom hand grip in the left hand position. And let's watch him make that move. And then he goes to hit his backhand swing. And we've switched over to Rafael Nadal. We noticed pretty much the same thing here with him as well. Very similar to Djokovic. The bottom hand is in uh, close to a forehand grip, if not the forehand grip position. And then the top hand, he has a little different position. He holds on the throat, but you can see he's really close to the handle there, and his bottom finger is even overlapping the handle. So he's kind of in this in-between area. Uh, but you can see with Nadal here as we go, he's going to make his twist and slide. So he's going to twist and slide that hand down and he's got his backhand grip by the time he's got his unit turn there. So we'll watch him uh, twist and slide one more time. He's going to twist the racket here and slide his right hand down and now he's got his two-hand backhand grip and he's ready to go. And the next example of a uh, slider we're going to bring up is Juan Martin Del Potro and the reason why is because he's an interesting case. What he does is in his ready position he usually has his hand in his bottom hand grip or his continental grip already so if you look at that right hand He's got that hand pretty much in a backhand grip already. He does not wait in a forehand grip like most of the other guys do or closer to a forehand grip. So we're going to see him make his move here. He's going to slide that hand just straight down. And he pretty much has the same grip as when he's waiting. He might make a very small adjustment, but a much smaller adjustment than Djokovic or Nadal. So again, look at that slide position. And then he sets that backhand up with the racket head up. So we'll just bring up Andy Murray again. This time we'll notice what twisters do when they have to go to a forehand. And this happens for most of them, like Murray, uh, Sanga, Kevin Anderson. Burdich does not do this, but uh, Murray definitely does. So he starts in his twist position with two hands on the handle of the racket and pretty much has a forehand grip with his right hand. And what you'll see him do is he's going to come out of the split step 
and then he's going to slide up to the forehand with that left hand. So, you know, like the other guys, the uh, sliders do, he's got that left hand on the throat of the racket when he goes to hit his forehand. Burdich does not do this, but uh, Sanga and Kevin Anderson do as well. So that kind of brings up the question of which style is right for you personally, and I would say uh, the more top pros use the, si uh, the style of sliding and then twisting the bottom hand, so sliding the left hand down like you see with Djokovic here uh, is the predominantly popular style. That doesn't mean that you can't do what Andy Murray's doing or some of the other guys like Sanga as well. But I think the main reason why you see so many guys slide the racket or the hand down on the racket like that, even though it takes more time, is because it favors the forehand ground stroke. So if we look at Novak here, what you're going to see is when you're waiting in that uh, sliding hand position with your left hand on the throat of the racket, it's a little easier to have your right elbow pushing back. And that's one of the keys to the stretch short and cycle forehand. So I think these guys tend to start in this position for the vast majority or the uh, for the most part because it favors having that big weapon of a forehand and getting your elbow pushed back right away. So look at Novak here, you know, as he takes the racket back from that uh, slider position. And he's just ready to go hit that forehand right away. It makes it easier. You sacrifice maybe a little bit on your backhand, but you make it up in uh, having more of a weapon on your forehand side. I'm Jason Frosto for TennisUnleashed.net, and that was Twisters versus Sliders in the ready position.